Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. I don't know where you're watching me from. My name is Peter Bewa. I have my brothers here, Mr. Daniel. He's in United, United States. Mr. Evans, also United States, and Emmanuel Odro. These are my seniors. In fact, um, <laughs> let me say, they are, they are also full of knowledge. In fact, they, they agreed to come to my page to share their story. If you're watching me, I'm live on my YouTube page, Peter Bewa TV, uh, Twitter, Peter Bewa, Facebook, Peter Bewa TV, and also um TikTok, peter Bewa, and facebook peter Bewa tv so thank you for watching me what i want you to do is i share this live video it's a very important information that we are going to share here and i believe um now people are starting coming on the page so what i want you to do is that power tap the love button let the page grow we are here to answer some of your questions now you can use to join us by using the link so when you see the link over there you see i've placed some link over there use the link and come here I will pick you so that any question that you want to ask these people, they will delve into it and, and help you. Let me start from Mr. Daniel. Mr. Daniel, welcome, bro. Thank you, sir. Um, I learned um, you are also in the United States. In fact, uh, people are complaining of getting admission and scholarship opportunities, generally in Africa. I, I know you, you have been here. You have been here for some time. You, you know why the, these white people, the Americans, how they are doing their things, emailing and those. Can you pinpoint some of the key things that you know, we are not able to get scholarship in Africa. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for the opportunity, uh, Senior, and it's a privilege coming on your channel, and yeah, like I've been looking at you from afar and looking at your channel. Coming on your channel today is a, a, a privilege for me. So with your question, so one, one thing that like is uh, detaining uh, Ghanaians from getting scholarship is, uh, I would say, like them following like, like, like the right pattern of the application process, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like many people, like don't follow like the right process. Like, they, like they just do like everything like a, like abysmal. Like, like they just do everything like they want. Like every every like I tell people, just get get the right people to uh, lead you through the process. Cause you right starting with your application, you need some application materials like your SOP. You need some recommendation letters. You need your resume and everything. You can't just start your application process by just uh, maybe like a. Uh, uh, getting someone's SOP and just uh, copying the same thing on yours. It, 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 it's, it's a criminal offense. And you writing an SOP, with your SOP, like there are some stuff that must go inside your SOP, some uh, like your research interest, maybe like you must get uh, like a professor that has, maybe like a, a professor whose research interests align with yours in, in your SOP. So there are many, so there are some petty, petty things that must get into it. And so you need to get someone who knows, like who has the knowledge and can abreast you with such knowledge. And also to co continue with the resume, you, like you need to know know how to draft like a well, you need to get a well-crafted uh, resume. Like, like a, a resume for a job is different from an educational resume. That's one thing, uh, like uh, people like, there's a difference between academic uh, CV and there's a difference between a professional CV. And like all this stuff, there are many people who just uh, upload and uh, a professional CV. Some and, people some people even use pictures. They have uh, be a picture and on their, I don't know what, what, is, what they are doing. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, so, so I'll say, so as I said, like just following like the right procedure is one thing that's uh, basically detaining like many Ghanaians from getting like scholarship in America, so you need to talk to people, get to know people who know know, know like the road. Yeah, yeah, cousin thing. Yeah, follow who know road, and like I I, I did it. I follow people who, who knew the road, and like now I'm in America. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, my my brother, um, welcome. Um, my brother, I think today's my first time. I think I've talked to this. Um, I've talked to Daniel, but I've not talked to Emmanuel. Emma, welcome to my page. Right now, over getting to over 80 people are watching us. Please share this live video. Let other people also join this platform. If you are watching me on YouTube, let me see your comment on the comment section. And we are just speaking for maybe 30 minutes. I will allow you to join in using the link so that you can come here and ask any question to us. My brother, welcome. I learned you're also in the United States. Um, can you brief share some of your experience here with the school application? How, what are some of the things that your brothers back home, your sisters, now nigerians are watching ethiopians are watching what advice can you also give them and why people are not able to get school admission and um, scholarship as well mm -mm. Ima, i can't hear you
Is it clear okay. now? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so uh, as Danny eloquently said, um, basically, most of the time we miss getting opportunity um, scholarship opportunities because of not you know paying key attention to some of the requirements they request from us and i can use myself as a clear example as a, a, a case study i tried this um graduate school application that was 2021 and i didn't get any funding at all i did about three schools i didn't get any funding at all i think i had one just one admission and the, the two were outright rejection and this was because i knew nothing about it and i committed a lot of errors in my entire application process. So visiting those um, application package then, I realized there were a lot of errors. One was with my SOP. My SOP was haphazardly written. So I remember I didn't clearly state any professor that you know I would like to work with or had an interest that you know might tied with him or her. Um, also, my SOP was kind of, um, the story was very weak. Well, like um um promising student, like I really didn't tell them how promising I am. Just okay. I'm a promising student, and I didn't go into detail telling them how promising I am. Maybe using my academic achievement and other things. So it was quite weak. And visiting my um CV too, I realized that there were some things that needed to be on the CV which I didn't you know input on the CV. Um, for instance. I didn't clearly state the CV was haphazardly done as a whole. So I think um, we have to read most of the time. Sometimes we have to read most of the time the requirement of the department. So the school that I'm currently in, I applied to the school last, like 2021, and I had an outright rejection because they required they required of me 500 red statement of purpose, and I went beyond that. I, I really, in fact, you have touched one of the important things. They told you to write 500 words. You, you write 1,008. Like, you want <laughs> exactly. to explain to them that. <laughs> scholar, scholar. A scholar. bit of, yeah. The school said, write 500 words. You, dear, you write more than 500. Yeah. It? Okay. I'm so, so now, before you go on, over 130 people are watching us right now. If you're watching me on YouTube, Facebook, please share this live video. Let other people join. Let's reach 300, 200 people live here. And I believe you're live. Any question that you have, you can use the link. You can see up of the video. There's a link over there. Click on the link and follow it. You will come here and I'll bring you here so that they can able to answer your question. With US scholarship, Canada scholarship, we are here to hear your voice. Maybe probably you cannot get us one on one, but here we will answer some of your questions. My brother, continue. So so I went beyond that. I think I had about almost a thousand words, and I think that was one of the integral things that led to me not getting an admission. So um, I, I, I would entreat everyone to um, take time to read painstakingly. All that is required of them at the department, every information you need to know regarding how to send recommendation, how to write SOP, and everything is provided at the, at the department website and then the graduate school website and the international graduate school website. All that you need to know. And also, um, this one, I think Danny, is, it happened to Danny. Uh, you know, I think Danny applied to Ball State and unknowingly to him, he applied, did everything, paid application fee, not knowing the school required rest. And as a result of that, he had a very strong GPA, a very strong recommendation, a very strong SOP. Just because he didn't do rest, they didn't give him the admission because he didn't, you know, oblige to the requirement. Mm -hmm. So we should make sure that we go to the International Graduate School um, website, read the requirement and get ourselves known of what they required for, of us. And also go to the department, read what the department is expected of us. And then the graduate school website too they have all the information there and then the coordinator is there to answer our questions the coordinator is there to ensure that we go through the application process as smooth as much as possible so let's not hesitate anytime you have questions let's not hesitate to answer to ask the coordinator it's their job to you know give us answers to the to the questions and regardless of the amount of um emails you send to these people or the coordinators, they are willing to answer you. But before you do that, please do well 
to read all the information at the website before you ask the coordinator. Because sometimes the information are there, but you don't read, and then you ask the, co the coordinator. And sometimes the continuous uh, sending of emails without, uh, without reading, whereas this information can be found on the website, can be quite irritating. And when you do that, the coordinator would, you know, it speak of you as, a, as the type of in, uh, student you are. You are a student who don't look for information. You are a student who can independently source for information. And as a graduate student, one key skills you need is the ability or the independence in looking for information and making sourcing for this information to use it for your own research and other things. Mm. So um, um, if you don't research and then anytime you, because the coordinator is there to provide you the information, you shoot email, 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 email. Whilst this information are on the website, you know, it speak of and the, of the, and the, and the coordinator, are... coordinator was also, also part of the admission board. So exactly. he, he will know, he will know your application that this guy, cried. he was asking me irrelevant questions. Exactly. I, I, I believe, I believe what you are saying is also true. Uh, Mr. Evans, welcome. Thank you, sir. Uh, I, I, I believe um, it is through Evans I got to know these people, uh, my, my brother Daniel. And, you know, I've been telling people. It is through Danny I got to know this guy. Danny, I have their numbers right now, so now they are my friends here. Uh, my, my, my brother, you to add something to it, then we take the questions and then we start um, the, uh, the the question. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. And I, I think one thing we don't normally tell people is the fact that we all got rejections. Like how Emmanuel was saying that Daniel applied to a school, they didn't find time to check whether they. Re Quest for West evaluation. He submitted all his recommendation letters. Everything was complete. Just to realize that um, West evaluation was a must. Like there is no way the school was going to waive it for him. I applied to one school called Louisiana State University at Lafayette. I collected my three recommendation letters. That time I remember I had finished my national service. They gave us some small allowance for finishing everything. Then I got my, my, the school requested for $30 application fee. I said, oh, this one is small, so I'll use that last alawa to pay. I paid everything because a friend told me that that school has waived the application fee. So me too, I went to check and make sure that, ah, like, I was going to get the waiver and everything. But when I reached out to them, they told me the time for the waiver had passed. But when I checked, I realized that the qualification, I, I was a good fit. So I said, oh, okay. Even if the waiver code has passed and I'm not going to be accepted, I'll pay for the $30, $30 because $30 is just some small money for me at that time because I'd got the money. I applied everything just to realize that English proficiency was a must. There is no way the school was going to waive it for me, the islet or the uh -huh. English proficiency. There is no way they were going to waive it for me. They, I was supposed to take the islet for that particular school. But my case, I, I, I tried because I reached out to them just for them to um, 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 give me the assurance. Because normally when you're applying to the schools, there are some portions where they put asterisks red. Anytime you see asterisks, take note of it. At times, it means that you cannot skip that. No matter what, you have to provide something for that. So that's the mistake I did. Although I sent them a message... I was supposed to wait for their response before submitting all the recommendations, but I, I didn't. I didn't wait. So by the time they reached out to me to tell me that they can't waive the English proficiency for me, I had already submitted my documents and my thirty dollars, my recommendation letters, everything got wasted. Mm. So what what our brother is indicated is very true. I think uh, so. Now please, um, they are here to answer some of your, some of your questions. If you have any question concerning United States, Canada, whatever funding, scholarship, your GPA, whatever it is, they are going to, they are willing to, 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 to answer you. Please, um, you can use the link. So when you see the link on the video, use it and come in. Let me take the first person here for the person to come and answer. This person is connecting us from YouTube. Yes, sir. Mr. Ward, is it Mado? Mado, yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, good evening, my, my brothers. And thank you for the good work you're doing to Ghana and uh, Africa. So, um, please, I would like to ask um, I am a graduate, an HND graduate, 
second class upper, and uh, I would like to apply uh, for a scholarship. By then, um, I don't actually know where will be suitable for me as a construction student. I did building technology in the university, Sunyani Technical University. So please, can you guide me through? I don't know who answered the question. So whatever, if you want to answer, you answer him. Me, um, <laughs> whoever wants to take the question, then you take it. You said you have what H and D. Yes, in building technology. Okay, and you want to do you, what? What is your so, GPA? Okay. And I would like to further in a um, bachelor uh, in uh, construction engineering and management. So um, please, before I even, I would like to answer, but before I proceed with the answer, I would like to ask how many, uh, like, how many work experience do you have in that particular field? Okay, for eight, eight years. Eight years, because, okay. Um, yes. Please, um, you can, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We, you can uh, use the link on top of the video. Also, video no so now. Link be the hope. You use the link and then you come here. We will pick you and then we answer the questions here. These people are all experts. They are all on scholarship. They are here to help you answer all the questions. So use the link there. If you're on YouTube, use it. Facebook, use it and join us here. My brother, you can go on. Okay, so if you have like eight years work experience, I think you're a good fit for a, a, a master's or say a PhD. That's if that's what you want because you know the admission committee or the application process doesn't look at your degree as you know alone they don't look at your degree alone but they look at your entire application holistically and you know um, with the work experience it it plays a key role in determining whether you'll be admitted or not and you know they want people who have practical work experience in their classroom so that you bring on board um rich and insightful discussion or discourse in the classroom, you get it. So it's all about how you write your CV, how you present your CV, and how you write your, your you write your SOP and your code emails to professors as well. Currently, like um, I actually know someone who used a diploma with a ten-year work experience in journalism. He used a diploma from GIJ with a ten year together with a ten year work experience in journalism in winning a fully funded scholarship in a master's in communication and he's currently in the states. His was a diploma, so yours is H and D. And this person didn't do um, rest evaluation. He didn't do anything. You get it. So you stand a chance of doing that, but it's all about how you put all your portfolio together you know, in an organized structure such that it will make sense to the person or it will, be, it will look appealing and it will sound convincing to an uh, admission committee anytime they are looking at it. Bro, do you understand what you said? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So look at the uh, master's rather than the bachelor's. Yes, sir. Is it Castikojo? Castikojo. Yeah, hello. Yes, sir. Good evening. From Good evening. Uh, Peter, they have been sharing everything about him on my wall. Uh, everything. He's really inspiring the youth, and I support uh, every good thing about people and from his page i've started following i think two of you also events uh, japan i've also started following you and i'm i'm 12 years experience with uh coco board mm -hmm. and i did ict that is a uh, i have a degree in ict and i want to do my master's as well so and but ours was calculated in cwa so i wanted to know how can i calculate to GPA. 
So, oh, okay, so uh, with like the calculation, I'll say like just get to like like the West uh, portal. So you can just type in like www like www.west, I think west.com or something. Yeah. So when like you go to like the website, like there's an, like a place where they've written, yeah, like yeah, like evaluate if you want to evaluate like your transcripts. Okay. Please, right, yes, please. Yeah. So like if 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 you get the like you see an option about like the schools. No, no, like you're going to see like the countries. So please one one thing about like that uh, portal is like there's no Ghana in it. So just choose United Kingdom. Okay. So after choosing United Kingdom, you're going to see like an option about like the schools. So then you choose like the school if you are from maybe like Kwame Kwame University of Science and Technology, then you choose Kwame Kwame Science and Technology. Then it leads to, it leads you to like like an, another page. So with the, uh, another page, you like they will give you like a broad space to input in like each course and its credit hours with like the, you had it you add for like that course. So if like if like it's about like a uh, ten ten courses you did for like all your programs, you just list all last like the credit hours and like the grade. Then after I think you just press evaluate. So it will take about three minutes. So your your uh, conversion to your CGPA to appear within like the next three minutes. That means I will type all the courses I did. In yeah, so you're going, to, you're going to type all your courses. Yeah. Level 100 to level 400. 400, right, right. Okay, okay. And yeah. please, the site again, I was trying to write it down. But well, it, I, think. I think it is words.org. Words.org. Where? So Where? is it words.org or what? Yeah, yeah, where's your stock? Yeah, W E S W E S W E S dot com. Um, I'll be also posting some of the questions here so you guys can read and also answer some of the questions as well. I'll post the link on my page, use the link and join us. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Kasti. Are you done? Okay, let me pick another one. Uh, people want to join Mustafa from YouTube, want to join us. Yes, sir. Is it Mustafa? Hello. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I would like to extend my uh, profound gratitude to this uh, wonderful uh, mentorship program. So uh, God bless you all. We are really grateful. Uh, my question is on the um, application uh, on call mailing the professors. For example, when you see an opened uh, advert, so you want to uh, send a message to your professor. So in, in some regards, we are, you will send a message and some professors will not uh, feedback you. And what is the criteria and the strategies of sending that uh, call mail? For example, the, uh, the message should, should be uh, two pages or maximum of what pages of the uh, of the uh, message, and uh, apart from that, in the uh, academic CV, when a person is constructing an academic CV, so is it necessary to uh, to to put like uh, when a person study biology, so and he has some courses in computer. Can he put that computer or he will just ignore because the computer is not relevant to the uh, biology program or fisheries and aquaculture, for example? Like my, it's okay. It's uh, okay. We will, we will answer you. Okay. So, seniors, he's asking that how can you send code emails? Uh, my, Mustafa, where are you watching us from? I am watching you from Borno State in Nigeria. Oh, okay. Yeah, please, one can answer the question. Sending code emails. No, so, um, if you don't mind, I can go. Sure. Okay. So, so the code emailing, um, from Mustafa's own, most, mo, uh, most especially for the sciences, often you get the professor dishing out these um, 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 positions. Like they would personally submit, uh, they will put out these pos available available positions, and then they will attach the requirements. So they will attach that they need a CV. They need a, um, a sample, a writing sample. And in the CV, these are some of the skills you should have. Maybe Python, I don't know, but these are the skills you should mm -hmm. have. So often, the starting point is looking at the, the, the portfolio that a lecturer is putting out for. 
for to recruit people you have to look at the description to make sure that you tell your writing sample your code email and your cv to the job description or the description the professor have provided in the email you get it and then from there if you have any other skills you put it in there like any extracurricular skills that like for instance mustafa is saying um, um if you have computer skills which is demanded everywhere so the social sciences we need it the sciences the physical sciences they need um computer skills you get it so you just put it in there to beef up your portfolio as a candidate because a lot of people would be sending out email to the professor and sometimes there could be just two positions available and then the professor have open advertisement like you get like 100 200 people applying for it and it because of the um the 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 number of people who are who have applied for it the professor wouldn't be able to return all uh, replies to all of them you get it so always make sure that you position yourself such that you to become a very competitive candidate by putting in all other skills that you think when you add it to the cv and other document it will make you a strong candidate okay okay sir um and then after you commend the professors is it uh, that means that you don't need to apply if professor accepts you? You don't need to apply to the portal, or you must apply to the portal after the professor accepts you. And in a scenario whereby you are applying to the uh, admission, uh, the graduate school admission, so is it possible to to search their 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 faculty members so that to see those that their research interest is in line with your interest so that you can be able to mention them in your SOP or you must email them before you okay. mention them in the SOP. Okay, so with, with, with graduate school, often after the coursework, the most important thing is your thesis. And, you know, your thesis largely depends on your advisor, the one who is taking you in. So always make sure that you, before you even apply, you go to the department website to see if indeed um, the department is doing something that aligns with your interest. That's the first step. Once they, it aligns with your interest, you check the faculty to see if there's any faculty who is into that research. And once you see a faculty who is into that research, nothing stops you from emailing this faculty to inquire for him if there's an avail availability on his side. You get it. So once you inquire from him and he says there's an availability on his side, he would encourage you sometimes... Some, I know someone who even had admission from his advisor before even applying. Yeah, because there, there, was, there was availability. And then the person submitted his SOP, his CV, everything to the professor. And then the professor, upon his assessment, saw the person a good fit. So he was like, I've given you the admission. Please do what to put in the application. And this time around, the board changed. The professor exactly. was rather pressuring the, the, the candidate to apply. Mr. Va, it's okay. People want to, but they cannot come. You, uh, the questions, please. They, they are, now, it, the, the distance is blocked. So, Mustafa, you please. <laughs> when you come 30 seconds, then you go. A lot of people want to enter, but the distance is, The page is full. Okay, let me take this man. Um, the way he's laughing, he connected from YouTube. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, boss. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Young Koyo Monitor. <laughs> thank you very much, Peter. I thank you for joining this page, and I greet everybody on this page. Uh, I must confess, all the things that my brothers are talking about is something that Peter, you have taken us through, and you have advised, and you have said it, and now you are bringing the the people themselves to really attest to what you have really taken us through. And I must mm. say, God bless you all. And mm. I am just commending you. I'm just commending you that God bless you for the good work that you are doing. Uh, I said, I have a lot of questions, but within these 30 seconds, I would have to rest for others to come in. I will have time, then I'll come in and No, you can join ask your question. You ask, you ask before you go. I, because Peter, you if I start to ask these questions, I think uh, the platform will be choked. <laughs> because I'm, I'm, I'm really writing. I'm really writing. Okay. I'm really writing. I know one day I'll get you. Okay, okay. Thank you. A lot of people are coming. Charlie, who is this person? Okay, Derek. I mean, you're calling for him. Um, okay. Yes, sir. Oh, mute. You're muted. You're muted. Oh. Okay. Uh, I, I, I've applied for school in um, this thing, Conestuga. I got admission from Conestuga. And um, I was 
asked to pay the thousand five hundred as uh -huh. a deposit. Mm -hmm. Yes, and afterwards, like in the admission letter, like three months later, I have to pay extra the the remaining tuition fee. Yes, sir. Yeah, is there any way that I will not <laughs> I can pay the thousand five hundred that I will be granted the visa? <laughs> then I will not because there the remaining fees I can't pay. <laughs> you know what? When you are serious, oh. <laughs> yeah, but. Let me to be to you. go People want to join. People want to join. But let, let me answer you. Wait. In fact, there are certain uh, schools that they are saying that. Um, you need to please, Mamma Mura Monto was a million in a middle of a moire. Page this way, ma. Um, one thing is that one thing that you need to know is that, um, one thing that you need to know is that Conestoga will take thousand five hundred. That is a deposit. But one thing is that when, when, what, if the, the distant company you applied your visa and you get your visa, that one is, is applied, but you, you waited. So now you have waited and they have given you two, three months for you to pay all. But if you don't pay, it is either they will they will they will revoke your admission and give you back your money, or they will cancel the admission. So there's no way because Conestoga, there are certain scholarship unless you come to the school before you get. You are in Ghana, you can never get scholarship, and I don't know where you're going to get a scholarship to come. And you know, colleges in Canada don't really give scholarship to people. I know scholarship at uh, uh, Holland College, at um, Niagara College, they will give you three thousand dollars, unlike US. Sometimes some of the colleges will give you full scholarship. In Canada, it doesn't work like that. that I, I know that you are coming for one year program, right? Yes. Yeah, Konestoga, one year, one year in Kwan. So, my brother, you need to find money and pay. Is either you take your money and look at other programs that will not, they will not tell you to pay um, all the full or then you use it to apply. I think that one will help you out. Okay, thank you. Let me kick you out. Um, why is Iman not busy? Yeah. Okay, let me add Manora. Are you still? Why is uh, is it Diffin Isaac? It's a Diffin Isaac as well. Okay, uh, my senior brother is also here. Uh, boss, is it Dimfi Isaac? Welcome, my brother, boss. You are muted. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm good evening. Ask, ask your question. They are here to answer you. Tale, Hello, good evening, you Peter and guys. Okay. Please, we are listening. Oh, please, are can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yes, we can hear you. Yes, um, yes, um, yes, um, um, my recently got admission to Ohio <clears throat> for a master's program. However, it came without funding, so I... Hello? I was just trying to get... Um... Hello? <sighs> yes. Yeah. Uh, we can't hear you, Isaac. Isaac. What's your name? Okay. Uh, uh, we okay. Where is why you're my microphone person? Uh, Obaso, at 30 seconds, then you go, please. There's a kingdom man. Yeah, Mr. Peter. Yes, sir. Thank you for your good work. Thank you, too. Uh, you, you've been a blessing to our lives, and we will never forget what you've done for us. Amen. Uh, God bless you. Uh, my question is, um, one of my, my friends contacted me yesterday. He, he said he wanted to apply for admission with um, BSc in community mental health and he was asking me if there is any program 
he can pursue at the master's level. I so said, I have to contact uh, my boss and find out if. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what is it? All these people here, they are all on scholarship. Only part for no more than one. So only wow. me in Canada. Yeah, they are all brilliant students. Senior, so you see, be as he's a mentor here. So me, him the department where you come, I had your back. Yeah, I say, Charlie, let me come in. Okay. Place, I, the person shouldn't even call you to ask you that question. <laughs> I'm sure the person is using a smartphone. I don't know. It's some, some of these questions. And they come mm-hmm. very weird. Like, to me, it's very weird. I don't know for you guys. But me, I find it weird. Well, you are using a smartphone. You want to know if you can read this book. Google can answer most of these questions, you know? Yeah. So me, I can't come and tell you right now that you can read this, 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 here or there. But the person should just go to Google. Check these things. They are there. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. mm. I mean, that's what I'll say. I don't know for what the other guys have to say, but <laughs> doesn't just go to Google, like, right? Charlie, does it? <laughs> yeah, so, you so, see, uh, what I would like to say too is that your person, you know, it largely depends, uh, boils down to what he's interested in. So, you should look at his interest and use to tell her the course, and also, you can use chat GTP. I want to study, um, I have a BS in clinical, is it? Um, mental oh, health, health. health. Okay. Yeah. What can yeah. I do for matters in the US? It will come. The courses mm. will come. And then he said. Hmm. Okay. You see, sometimes uh, okay. like, you make the work difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 No one. Thank you. Squad are coming. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Peter, you're overpampering your people. <laughs> really are. Oh. Challenge mm. you. I think you're going to have to be hard. Like, you're pampering them like that. <laughs> And as as you do, as you do, as 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 a man, sorry. As a man. Yeah, hello. Yes, our boss. Please can you please can you hear me? Yes, yeah, but what what the throat room are now? Eh, me 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 me. I just I just close from where going home. Okay. Thank you very much. And then, and then, um, you guys have have, have really be a blessing to some of us. Thank you. And then we are we are doing all all we can in our in our small way to also, by God's grace, we'll be able to join you. Oh, uh, uh, one question concerning the West. Is it when you when you want to do the calculator one? To, to know your faith before you, you apply. When you go there, the first place, there, there is Ghana there. But where you go, where they will ask you to choose, um, like the country you, you had your education, that place, there's no Ghana. Because yeah, yesterday yeah. I was trying to do it, but when I did it, I didn't get the, the, the answer. So I wanted to find out whether, where there is Ghana, the first Ghana, I will choose Ghana. And then the other side, where there is no Ghana, which country do I choose over there? Yeah, so like so yeah, so you're not going to see Ghana, so just choose United Kingdom, okay? Okay. Yeah, United okay. Kingdom, yeah, it's work. Yeah. I think Nigeria to us can work, right? Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 sure. yeah. Nigeria, know. I think we are the yeah, same. Yes. We, are, we are all there. Yeah, yesterday I, I, I chose yesterday I chose Nigeria for the where um where they ask the country where you attended the school. I chose Nigeria, but when I did it, I didn't see no, nothing pop up. I didn't mm-hmm. see any results because yeah, I did or I entered. I yeah. entered all my all my courses that I did, and then the the grades that I had. But okay. when I the final, I didn't get the the, oh, the results. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, okay. yeah, so, so, UK, so yeah, is, using the UK can help them get the yeah, results. So, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know the ways those kind yeah, of stuff, right? Yeah, so. UK, UK work, yeah. Okay, let me pick this one. Yes, sir, you are connecting from Facebook. Please use the link over there. If you are watching us on YouTube or uh, Twitter or whatever, please use it. I'll also put some of your comment here. If you don't want to come, you can write your comment here. They will answer you. Yes, sir, Mr. Owan in the first. Yeah, Mr. Begua, good evening. Yes, sir, boss. Yeah, my question is, I came with a student visa, but due to one or three reasons, I've not started the school. And I want to find out whether I can still use the uh, same number to work or no. So international student in Canada, you cannot, you can never work using your same number to work because it is against the rules. The rule said unless you are enrolled in a college or university, 
you can never work. I know that there are a lot of people who come here and the agent are telling them, when you come, go and work. When you come to Canada, go and work. The person will be using the same number after school. When you apply for the postgraduate work permit or permanent resident or something like that, they will flag it because mm. you, have against, you have gone against the immigration rule. So, my brother, uh, here, the higher uh, quantum, yeah, 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 Hey, Brampton, it's quite a good acronym there. When you put the acronym, I can say, for pay a good Brampton. Someone, send me an email eh? after this one. I'll try and talk to you why. I'll connect with you right. to one of, one of my senior man so that he can help you out. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> senior, yeah, Brampton. I'll rather go for Omugu or for I'm in for a query. Uh, Mr. Harun. <laughs> yes, sir. Senior man. Hey, now blue blue light. We have been going. Yeah, how's the evening? Hey, we want him. Oh, pardon me. Yeah, but you can't believe that what people. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Please ask your question. Yeah, yes, yes, Papa. Easy. Oh, all right, all right. Well, yeah, just, I'm just uh, commending you guys. You, you guys are doing very well. Mm, Mr. Peter, mm -hmm. why are there, pa? I didn't follow your page earlier. So it's like I've made uh, some errors in my previous uh, applications and others. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear me. Please talk, talk. You can hear me. Yeah, yeah. So I did some application. Um, I had an admission to... Uh, one of the UK schools, um, Essex, University of Essex. Yes, I, I, do, I did my deposit about um, 2,000 pounds. I feel they may apply for my visa first one. They denied me because of bank statements. Mm -hmm. And I'm not say uh, the amount they want to know, so it's even over the, the distance they want. But um, during say, uh, print a bank statement with this, I'm deposit to be. They denied me. Fine, dear Matthias say. So I did the second application, not knowing I should have requested for a new cast to do the application. I'm sorry that the answer I apply, and they rejected me based on that. So my new soon new cast. So I think say like if I followed your page earlier, all these um uh, petty petty errors wouldn't have. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the recommendation. Thank you very much. Um. Okay, ah, uh, okay, okay. Let me kick this man from out. Please use the link. Squad ya begumo. The profile mo 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 jina suri ni na mo na US. Me mkuwa na mse Canada. Wow. Ah, and then they're buying there. I don't know, but let me. Mo na o Canada o. Hey, when you Tete Tete Patrick, please, you're alive. You're alive. Thank you very much, Peter, for such a wonderful work that you've been doing to support the people of Africa and beyond. I've been following you for the past three months, and I, I've seen the kind of good work you are doing with the help of your team, uh, Choco Milonia, Nanamba, Nanamba and the others. You are doing extremely well. My question is... Uh, I am a become student from the University of Cape Coast and have been working with the waste management industry for almost four years now. That is Zoom Lion Ghana Limited. And per my experience in the waste management industry, I am looking forward to pursue a master's in environmental sciences so that I'll get much knowledge in that particular field per my experience. Is it possible that we Please, yeah, now we be to answer now. Answer, I think we have more Zoom lion. So he has experience, and I don't, I don't know if you guys can help him. The question I want to ask him is, uh, why, why does, like, it's like I'm getting a feedback. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. If you, if you are using the the this one, disconnect it. 
No, no, oh. no. I don't think it is error. No, I think no, it's no, like it's like it's Hello. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, why why do you want to switch from become like from that field to the waste management? If you're able to defend that reason uh, very well, then that should help you. I mean, uh, you can switch with U.S. schools. You can switch regardless of your your bachelor's uh, degree. You can switch to any field. But the thing is, if you are going for the interview and the view ask you why you did bachelor's in maybe uh, commerce and then now you are going to do like natural resources or something, you should be able to defend why you are going into that. So if you have a strong case of why you want to do that, then that is uh, valid enough. But if not, you can still come in into the system with your batch, uh, that is your commerce. And then when you get here, you can easily switch. Yeah, so these are the two things that I call. Is there anybody uh, want to add way. something to wait? If I done your, uh, my, my brother? I think that, yeah, the, you just have to know why you are doing the switch. That's the most important thing. And mm -hmm. it's going to reflect in the statement of purpose you are going to write. And that's the same thing you are going to use to go to the visa interview, you know. So that, that Okay. This person is a, with my, with, with yeah, my I'm wife. Coming. I'm coming. So it makes sense. You are working in the waste management. Now you want to learn more about sustainability. I did sociology and I got it. I told myself that I can do sociology masters. So I want to divert. So now I'm doing environmental sustainability. Uh -huh. So it all depends on why you want to do this. Yeah. And you have a valid reason. You are working with the waste managers. Mm -hmm. Now you realize that there is more to that. Mm -hmm. So you want to improve your knowledge in waste management. So it all depends on your SOP, as the, 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 the boys are saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was saying, with what's the qualification? Can I get full scholarship to study in Canada? My records are just A's and B's. My transcript have similar records as well. My brother, I don't know if you as the, you can use the undergrad, you are worthy to get straight, uh, you know, get this scholarship with your, with senior high school results is not an easy task. Unless you demonstrate certain key things that they can able to give it to you because they require you SAT, SCT or something like that. Sometimes when you apply to school, they will give you pass year. I know Brandon University, some people have been coming there, they have been giving people $20,000. But getting fully funded scholarship with undergrad, that means you're an exceptional student. Or I don't know how, if you guys can also ask something to, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I think, I think, I think mm -hmm. it's true. Those days when I was searching on the internet for things about study abroad, like you hardly see people making videos on that. It's not easy. <laughs> to, to to get yeah yeah it's, that's the truth so at times and, i tell people it's it's not it's not easy to get like with your straight um wasi to wasi us yeah. and even if you get they will never give you fully funded like, full funded uh, is that you get 30 50 at least if you're a best student with good deep uh uh transcript they can you can get 70 yeah. percent yeah. but somebody also told me that somebody who used senior high school to i don't know if the that's what i'm telling you that in terms of, and even if you get full scholarship, that means you are able to demonstrate certain unique from other applicants or something like that. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, so sometimes too, if you're athletic, you can uh, okay. you leverage on your football or your like your athletic skills to get fully funded scholarship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, too, but the most often to get fully funded scholarship, you have to get a high score in your SAT. So the person with his grace in Wasi, I think he's a good candidate or he's a good student. So he can try the SAT and then see how far that can, that one can take him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Undergraduate, undergraduate, who are you coming to teach as a teaching assistant or whose research interest? Oh, it, 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 it makes sense. It, it, it makes sense. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Wemono, Wemono, I don't know if I mentioned your name right. Is it Wemono? Yes, please. Yes, sir, boss. Uh, good, evening, Mr. good evening, Mr. Peter. Yes, sir. Uh, my my question is just about I I am a, a trained professional trained teacher, mm -hmm. and I just did my degree this year. Mm -hmm. So I uh, my I did my degree in community based rehabilitation and disability studies at UW. So my question is uh, applying for a uh, what is it 
uh, abroad. Is this something good that should add a diploma certificate? Or I should just go ahead with the uh, degree I just in? So the degree is a top up because teachers for no one can hear two year two year top up because my no mine is four like years it is a full it's it's okay. four years degree. Okay, you guys it's not a top up English. program. Well if you can answer him. Yeah, so, so like I was so say yeah, so like uh, since like you, you want to depict your academic records, I, I would advise you to like uh, add all add add all your diploma and your degree. Just add all because it's add up okay. to your academic records, yeah. Okay. So, okay. are you advising him to do the worst combination of the transcript? Oh, what? I, okay. What? What is your GPA? It depends. What is your GPA? Yeah. It what is your GPA? Uh, with uh, with the uh, diploma, the GPA is three point three, and, and degree, with the degree, the GPA, is, the GPA is three point five two. There's no need for the uh, BS. You should just combine the two. You should just combine the two documents. And... So this one, you mean you should make the document, the the yeah. the, the, the yeah. diploma record, uh, yeah. transcript, and this one yeah. transcript, and yeah. upload it at where they ask for the transcript, right? right. Yeah. Exactly. Then so you okay. have to let that one to reflect in your both your SOP and your and on your CV. So your CV, your experience, you tell them you are a teacher by profession for this yeah. between these years. Your SOP to at where you'll be speaking of your um, credentials and your abilities, you step down one too, so that they would have an understanding of your yeah, transcript. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is 3.5 okay. first class? No, uh, second from, class upper. Upper strong. Upper strong. Upper strong. Uh, upper upper strong. <laughs> so your upper, 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 uh, upper. Uh, you can't compare 3.0 to 3.5. Let me add this, man. If you are watching us, please, over 100 people are watching. I know it is very late in Ghana. This interview, we should have done it in afternoon, but we are all students. Some have been going to class, this, this, this. Canada today is holiday for us, but these people, they are all in school doing a lot of stuff. That's why I know by now it is getting to 11 or uh, something to, in Ghana. Yeah. It's getting yeah. to 12. 12 so yeah. we, we have only 30 minutes here because people will join half hour. Then they will go and pray and uh, everything. Um... <laughs> Who is this man? Okay, let me add. He's joining from YouTube. If you're watching us from YouTube, you can use the link. If you're on Facebook, yeah, use the link. I know people wanted to join, but the, the link was full. Please, use the link and join us. Yes, sir. Mr. Maya Delaya. What? 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 So, Mr. Aaron, I think one, two, three, four, we are six. Okay. So if you if you want to join us, use the link and come and ask your questions here. Okay, now people reach out to me and saying that this year they, they want to get scholarship. What are some of the things that they should do right now? If a person is watching us right now and the person wants scholarship, what is the first thing that you you, you all can able to share your story? Some people want to come, so I'll I'll take them and then we go. But you'll be able to make us out. Oh, yes, okay. Mr. Anthony. Mr. Anthony Odro Chum. <laughs> Powerful name. Anthony. <laughs> oh. yeah, the network, you know. Obey you should group. Uh, um... <laughs> yes, sir. Naftali. Naftali, no afano. Yeah, I think he came. Wasaba. Yeah, Wasaba. Yeah. you can talk. Okay, let me add it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Peter. 
Yes, sir, boss. I salute you and your team. Yeah, thank you very much. God Richard bless you. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Yeah, I said the other day that what you are doing is ministry. <laughs> Push it, man of God. Push it, man of God. <laughs> you, are, you are unlocking potentials. <laughs> yeah. And you are raising leaders for Africa. Amen. <laughs> Calling. <laughs> Yeah. Please, I want to ask your team um, concerning evaluation. If I have different transcripts, let's say diploma and degree, how do I combine it for the evaluation? Uh, just make sure, is it from the same school? Yes, if please. Both from, yeah, if it's from the same school, uh, when you make payment to WS after you have signed up and everything, they give you a reference number. Just ask your school to send both transcripts mm -hmm. and they will match everything. They will do everything and give you just one document. So, yeah. Please, does the match mean that I will scan it, they will scan it together? No, you, you wouldn't do anything. It's your school that is going to do it. It has to be official. So, you just have to pay your school. Like, you are going for a transcript from your school, you know, like the normal process. But then this time around, they shouldn't give it to you physically. They should mail it to uh, WES. So if your school has an affiliation with WES, they are going to send the electronic one. You get me. Wh which school did you attend, please, if I may ask? UCC, sir. Good. So I also attended UCC. So we have an affiliation with WES. So when you go to the academic records office, you tell them that you are, you, you want to, your transcript to be sent to WES. And so you are going to pay for both transcripts to be sent to them. So you wouldn't do anything. It's just between the school and WES. Okay, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, Does that mean I have to finish? I have to create the account. Yes, you have to create the account. Pay, make, without the payment, you won't get a reference number. And it is a reference number that your school will be able to send to them. Acknowledging yeah. that this person, yeah, so it will show your details and everything. So without a reference number, you can't move forward. So just sign up, do everything, pay, and then you get a reference number. Then you go to UCC, and then they take it out from there. Okay. Um, my last but one. If a school does not require for evaluation, can I still send to them? Yes. So, so by that one, don't, don't make payment to the BS to send to them because when you are making payment for the BS to send to them, it's going to cost you $45. So what you do is you use your unofficial, you can use your unofficial and then merge it with the normal one that you uh, were sent to the BS for the evaluation. So merge everything together and send it to them. What? Yeah. what I mean... If, what, what what you're saying is pure wisdom. You need to cut a, a, a $45 in Ghana right now, Masa. Will be, if somebody's watching me, just 200 cities could we need. So sometimes yeah. you need to cut certain things. So you don't need to say, I've done worse in this school, worse, this school, worse, 45, 45. <laughs> I don't think it, it can it can really help you, you know. We need to yeah. cut costs as well. Sure. Okay, sir. Uh, please, finally, are there any Bible colleges with funding that you can recommend? Okay. Uh, that one, Canada. I know of Canada, uh, but they, uh, have, they uh, have they have one Bible school here. It is at New Brunswick Bible Institute. That one, they also have put graduate work permit. But I've I've went to the website. You need to send them an email that you are a pastor or a deacon or maybe I don't know your qualification, whether a prophet or angelical uh, ministry leadership. You send to them that okay, uh, we went to Bible school or something. Can you be enrolled? If they can pick you, then they will tell you. I can see Canada flag in your room. I'm joining you soon. Point of contact. Flag in the air, him, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's it. Yeah, that was it. Um, thank you for joining us. A lot of people want to join. In fact, um, the Fred Effect, senior man, the Fred Effect said, Great job, guys. Um, I think you're honest. Thank so you. So let me add oh, this okay. man. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, boss, please go on. Is that, um, there's no name hello, here. Uh, uh huh. Okay, I thank you all for giving me the opportunity to join this uh, live program. I'm, I'm Umar Amodi from Nigeria. And my question is, I want to ask for diploma holders, 
uh, who uh, uh, started their undergraduate degrees uh, from 200 level. Hello, are you with me? Yes, yeah, we are here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who started? Who started their? Yeah, who started their undergraduate degree from 200 level instead of 100 level because of the diploma? Because in Nigeria we have a uh, two uh, mode of entry into university. We have uh, UTME and DE. DE is for students who have diploma, two years diploma, so they'll be given 200 level. So my question is: uh, uh, Do I need transcript? to transcript evaluation, to apply for scholarship, especially in US and Canada, uh, because the transcript has only three years, three academic sessions, records, instead of four, for four years program. So I don't know whether you get my question right. Yeah, uh, I think we, we have to be clear on this. Uh, if you want to do evaluation, evaluation is for only like maybe you did just three years HND, okay? So if your, your degree that you're having is just three years, then you need to do the evaluation. When you evaluate into the US system or the Canadian system, it's automatically like send you into the four year category, like you have done a four year uh, degree. But then if, for instance, you have done a diploma like two years and then, <clears throat> sorry, and then you did a top up, which is, I mean, uh, all the years adding up to like five years or four years, there is no need to do evaluation if only your GPA is good. But if your GPA is not good and you think you want to boost your GPA and you go in for the evaluation, okay? So if you add both documents that you are having, uh, both the h and then your top up, and then you realize that you have a good GPA, then fine, there is no need to do any transcript evaluation. But if combining the two documents, you have just three years, then it's better you do the evaluation to get you into the four year system in the u.s because if you give them the three years they wouldn't like we have different i mean uh ways of evaluating our transcript so it will be different but then if you evaluate with the three years it will automatically send you into i mean <clears throat> their system okay thank you i don't know if you if you, you get me right, right. all right yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, let me add this guy also joining from YouTube. Yes, sir, Mr. Eugene, you can go on. Hello, Peter. Uh, Senior Peter, please. Uh, my question is, um, if uh, you are holding a diploma in nursing, that's a three-year diploma in nursing, and um, you want to pursue a master's in nursing uh, without bachelor's in nursing, is it possible? Uh, maybe... Um, uh, if you want to evaluate your transcript with West, is it possible for you to apply it? Um, diploma in this when you evaluate your transcript. Also, um, if I'm to take this question, I would say that it's possible, like as I used a friend as a testament, he actually had a two year diploma from GIJ. But together with his work experience, he had worked with, um, he has worked as a practicing journalist for about eight to 10 years. And he, he called, emailed the professors, and one professor just accepted him. He accepted him in without a transcript evaluation or anything at all. So I would say that um, utilize code emails. If it is nursing that you want to do, identify some nursing schools you would like to apply, contact the coordinators, explain your situation to them tell them that this is what you have diploma in nursing and you can send your cv together with your transcript as an attachment to the email so upon assessment of your cv and then your transcript if he is really interested in you or if they look appealing he would urge you to to, to apply or give you the green light to apply without going through a lot of stress so mm -hmm. i think over here is possible okay um please um i'm also asking that like like, um, is it possible to get fully funded scholarship with a nursing, a master's in nursing programs in the US? That one, uh, I don't know, because the nursing program itself, even the, the like the nationals here, it's difficult to even get in. So mm -hmm. I don't know if maybe any of us here, have, you have a friend who got fully funded for a nursing program, but I, I doubt. I've not heard anyone, most of the people I know, you get some level of funding. 
I think I think nursing to require you to write certain lines exams. I, mm-hmm. I don't know in Canada you, you can't just move from Ghana and say I'm coming to do nursing. Nursing, <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. They, they, you need to be writing certain is it highlight or what what and add it. Was it please speak to me? Oh, the Fred want to come in. Is it Fred? If it um you will try it. Cinema. If you want to add, if you want to, if you want to add up. Yeah, and greetings to everyone. It's a great job. I'm enjoying the conversation. Shout out to Aaron. Oh, right. So, nice. um, with, with the diploma, yes, it's possible to even have a PhD in nursing. And bro, please pay attention to this very well. So, first of all, you have a three-year diploma, which is a six-semester uh, transcript. Ideally, you need like eight semester transcript. So, if you do the evaluation, just like Aaron t- spoke about, it, it gives you the upper hand to compete with people with the um um eight semester or the four year transcript. So after the evaluation, I'm going to give you some schools. Um, you can look at University of Boston is in Massachusetts. You can look at University of Health um, Science Center, University of Tennessee Health Science Center. So it's UTHS. I have a, um, a couple of friends there. You can look at University of Texas Health Science Center. So what you do is that, just like Aaron said, you share your transcript and then your resume with them. You can move from diploma, three-year diploma straight into a PhD program in nursing. You don't necessarily have to do master's. You can also have the master's degree. There's one institution I'll give you. It's called Bridgeway. What they do is that you're not going to apply to a school. The Bridgeway people is in Ohio. They are, they are connected with um, a school um, called Rio Grande Valley um, Community College and University. So what you do is that you go to their website. It's called Bridgeway Fem bridgewayfem.com you go to their website so they have two pathways people who want to come and work and people who want to come in school so if you have a qualification in nursing and you want to come and do a master's in nursing so the point is that you are not applying to the school you're applying to bridgeway they will interview you if you qualify for the um qualify after the interview they are going to give you a scholarship so that you school in the in the um school day that, that they have connection with. So yeah, it's not going to be a lot of schools, only one school that they are connected to. So you go through the bridgeway, you have to pass the interview. If you're able to apply, you just go online, submit your document, and then you wait for the invitation. If you get an invitation, I have a group that I can add you all those who have been able to go through successfully and be now they are on full scholarship at the bridgeway. They'll pay for your flight ticket, they'll give you accommodation, they'll get you work and stuff like that. So that is one option. The second option is when you want to apply to the schools on your own. So you do the evaluation, evaluation because you have um, a three-year diploma. If you had a bachelor's, there, w- there would have been no need for evaluation. And check those universities I spoke about. University of Boston in Massachusetts, University of Health Science, University of Tennessee Health Science Center. So there's the University of Tennessee, but they have a health science center. That's where you get a nursing. University of Texas, but we have University of Texas Health Science Center. That's where you get the, the, the nursing from. Also, bro, don't put your eggs in one basket. If you have nursing, you can look at a master's in midwifery, at public health. You can look at gerontology. All those options are there. Uh, Sineba, well, I appreciate your opportunity. Uh, uh, before you go, before you go, uh, Fred, uh, um, coming straight to nursing in the United States, I, I learned you, do they need to write certain exams that are tied to it? Okay, so if you want to do a bachelor's, or a transfer. So the diploma, he can also do a transfer. You don't need any exams, but the scholarship, if you write an SAT, or there are two things. If you write a, three things, if you write an SAT, ACT, or you complete what we call a CSS profile, a lot of people don't know about that, you can get a full scholarship for bachelor's degree. That is into the nursing. Now, if you want to do a master's degree, a lot of my people have done a um, PhD in nursing and master's in nursing, and those are the pathways I explain. You can come directly through Bridgeway. That is, Bridgeway will fund you. They have their own contract and stuff like that, but you have to pass the interview. And you can also go straight into a master's in nursing or a PhD in nursing if you have a bachelor's. And, and when it comes to master's, um, depending on whether, you know, the school requires GRE or not, or you can get a waiver, you don't necessarily need it to get a mm-hmm. full scholarship. So yeah, it's possible. Okay. Okay. Uh, that This is pretty fit. <laughs> Uh, uh, thank you thank 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 Fred. In fact, uh, Fred is one of our yeah, let me say my is my, my my brother. Let's say that. 
Oh yeah, uh, I see. I see brother. Yeah, that's uh, one day we buy jumbo. You know, we will level hundred. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we more SS one. We will see. We buy one. Ah, open it. But what you say? Yes, please. But I'm at the end. Okay, I think the bridge we enjoy my fahono. We are we are some transnational machine. Fahono so kakra. Bridge we. Ah, me da zinti. Um, ubit ubit me ime frizo. I'm a you, that brother. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't know if so Fred is all joining or sharing in the USP and that. Fred, but you also, yeah, no, I catch him. I will comment section. I don't know if you still want to come. Uh, if you want to join, we have, uh, let me see, and that, we didn't say Ghana, I could boil it, but over 120 people are watching us. But um, it is getting to 12 o'clock in Ghana. We have only. 14 minutes, but you only 14 minutes in the motto of Pepe Pena. We are going to go. Yeah, they are having a yeah, go yeah, be digging po. This person is asking that how do I do the West transcript evaluation from two universities? Degree from University of Ghana and postgraduate diploma from uh, diploma uh, uh, postgraduate diploma education from Winneba 3.0. I think would you recommend this person to do the West? I don't know if why is people talking about West, West, West. I see like. We, we are not advocating for ways, but I, I don't know the reason why each uh, uh, Aaron, I think that is, I think I, I said it. I said it that they shouldn't. I mean, it's not it's not that we are advocating for ways or everyone should go and do ways and it's a pathway for you to get here. No, we just do it for you to boost your GPA if you have a low GPA. For instance, in my case, I graduated with a 2.58, which when you run it off is 2.6. And I realized that most of the schools I was getting admission into, I was not getting funded. And so I had to do the evaluation to boost my GPA to 3.2. And then uh, God being so good, I got into it, passed my interview, and then I, I got here. So we are not saying that if you have a good GPA, you should still go ahead and be doing because it's very costly, like $220 now. And it's still like it keeps increasing. So if you can use that money for other things, why then do you go in for that? So, so there is no need with someone like this. With this person, with the uh, university of degree from University of Ghana, 3.0. Plus the postgraduate diploma education, uh, three point zero. On the other, I, I wouldn't. This this one is three point zero eight. This one is three point zero nine. Oh no no. Or call how to increase it. Zero five. Zero five. Zero five. With someone like this, if if you have, I mean, good, I mean, uh, working experience with this, I wouldn't urge you to go in for evaluation. If you if you put in the good work, you will be able to get funding for. I mean, what program? I don't know the program he, he even wants to do. Well, like, okay. Yeah, I think Fred wants to. Add a, yeah, Fred um, wants to add something. Yeah, Fred, Bajo, go on, my brother. Mm. Um, bro, thank you again. So, what happens is that, you know, once I'm encouraging you, you know, Nigeria for the BMU to me and manufacture more transcripts and more certificate. And see, one of the reasons for the transcript evaluation is to authenticate, say, a boss of Peter Bell won the core key university on one the core four years, no, no, complete here, and I'm money now qualification way. And here was schools be of us, strictly they go with the worst evaluation. One, yeah, we can admit you, Ball State University, typical example, a good school, almost scholarship near the other day, but so one year evaluation now CGP and yes, same crown a month out. And there was some schools be why be a no be painted more can affect the money evaluation. Them some unfortunate for a man, a man, and it's a bear. And see, one of the and see, over West evaluation, no crown now. So, person will send you a transcript to mama. On person who school no, oh, a transcript in a view. Name almost who be so I own official. And the difference between official transcript and unofficial transcript, a transcript I be so. And see, say, oh, oh, person evaluation, I'm saying my old school no more because a person who's unpack. One out of school for you, no, you could look be a hinty. You were schools near Boho, dear, or more scholarship pan, and so one ya or more a and founder. And yet by force said a membrane kind, said, O be a near evaluation name, mum. So a person applied to schools or media a strict requirement, but you just saw ye. So wouldn't this canna for schools be a tama memo bole bambo me fire, no, because me to me to evaluation. Five five nine and five year evaluation. That I mean to me afford it. You see, um, Ohio University, no evaluation. I'm going to upload the document. Yes, sir. Uber Drew Skuma, no more catch us. Oh, this back transcript never back of you. School never better. I'm saying, but when I'm here, University of Kentucky, I'm going to hear evaluation. It was schools never be a 
omun nya evaluation na evaluation na nkasa woni advantages ne disadvantages uh, disadvantage be kasa e bia ne body advantage me say obi kura 2.0 it me shooting the maneko 2.7 Mm. Two oh. um, schools be brain on um, the way via application amount um, application fee amount. Um, yeah, no more require evaluation. To bet me chair evaluation, no one your best seven application fee waivers. They be an what's my balance and I'm an aqua question. A henty, um, and I because any board then a cranity, um, a month for the door now to send me is a meeting me yet. Tell me more ball about my idea meeting me, Jack. And see, a competition in those schools, no our form cacra, but you can't do a to me, and yes, I'm Hanti, oh no, I said, I want to mount to my five five nine. I didn't want you in Nigeria. I'm out to more, I cost seven seven seventy or so. I have a friend through West Ebono. Oh, no, I ain't doing to eight. Now, seven hundred, seven hundred and seventy dollars. What about this? A lot of advantages. One, a big push you CGP and up. Two, bit many a free application be applied. Most of them require that. And um, the next thing is a competition will low in those schools because a lot of people are don't not want to do it. it. Yeah, my mom for some just here said, "Eh, casa, until your schools be or what? A more internal evaluation to which, um, you know, University of Illinois Springfield, a more internal evaluation. No, never know what form. In this, I hope I say, hope I apply to such a school. I'm part of. Wait, my forget to wear snare board in. No, a more internal evaluation. No, I'm a more. I know you are comparatively cheaper." It was schools nibi or come one casa back to some bit chair evaluation amount. I wanted to get you the name of the school. I made a video about it some other time. Uh, this uh, this one, I think uh University of North is it non uh Greensboro, North Carolina. Okay. I, I applied to that school and okay. They'll do that one for you. Great. Yeah. There was another one as well. So they, they would um do the evaluation for to be a casa nimkomo. Two person apply. Tell my yeah we uh, SSA will fill. No one saw a cut off form. So couple post office. You better tell me UCC Tech. They are. Who name they are apply to? Because now they pay boy. You know, instead of buyer, but I could be for. But we know. And yet try and error kind of process. Yeah. And you will be in casa. You unko for buy home. No, you admission office. Nibo come on WhatsApp number. Mm -hmm. Do WhatsApp your mom. Be respond. They say. Are you man? You ain't say 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 say. Since I'm on phone. Tia say say. Nigeria for name because I make a tree, but my yeah, cup of course. I'm on one test. They say, Obet in your communicate when you communicate, you know, um, definitely some of um, you get you get help with do, those things. Yeah, and Castle be out by force, quite a worse of a little bit. Two tons were for my day, you know, <laughs> still na uh, opportunities. So, me that's the senior man. That's not a friend or yet a national service or like what it says, the Zugu, uh, Badaban boy, but just a. My idea, my idea, you know, uh, inspiring thousands of people. In fact, these people on name squad be at they, they have really done well. In fact, they I, I wouldn't say that there are certain people that when I look up to where they have started and the kind of information they have given out, actually, we need to appreciate certain people. And in fact, Fred is one of the people. Me at first, I didn't know him, like uh, I think I came here through something I got to know him. I think Facebook or TikTok or something like that. We we make friends and Today he's my one of my brothers. Yeah. And, 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 and I will really en encourage guys to follow follow him. If mm -hmm. you have not subscribed to his YouTube channel and his Facebook and, and all his channels, one, try one one on one appointment. And I believe yeah. it is a valuable thing. Sometimes you need because, to invest too. <laughs> because I really got I, I really got a lot of information, especially when I, I finished doing the uh the West. I think he helped me to uh build my statements and then Gave me some clue, like uh, information and other th other stuff that helped me in even my interview and everything. So, yeah. so guys, you have to look sharp. And Fred, Charlie, that, thanks so much. So, so people tell us that they, God gave you to you guys free, so you too you should give it for free. And I'm saying that <laughs> there was a time I, I decided to do free mentorship program. And Charlie, when they came, eh, over 300 people came, and the platforms. <laughs> They say, it is not too professional. And these people told me that, Peter, you need to cut certain people out. So those yeah. who are productive will come. We are not saying that we are, we are, we are here to amass words, but it is our time. It is something that we have been doing. If you have 10 and you want to have a section with Fred, you can go there. He has a distance. You can book an appointment with him. With the, I think he, he, he will apply school for you and also with the visa interviews a lot one of the productive people powerful people in ghana on school application he's one of them and i, I believe he have large audience 
who is this man? I think he, he, you need to stay here. Fred, uh, Thursday and Friday, young person, meet him about page one because what about me? You know, me nyama out there. Yes, sir. Mind you. Can you answer this question? He said, I have a first degree in Ken West and currently pursuing my M field in Winneba. Done with my coursework. All this in the art. What are my chances for PhD, PhD, for PhD this fall in the USA? I don't know what, if you guys can answer him. He said, I have a first degree from Ken West and currently pursuing my M field in Winneba. Done with my coursework. In fact, we have only uh, let me see the time so that we can go. We have like five minutes to go. Please, can you answer this question for the man? Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I think um, he is actually on the right path of securing a PhD for himself. Of course, even for the US, you can use a master's, you can use an HND to even get a PhD, or a, a bachelor's or an HND to get a PhD. So someone who has a, a bachelor's together with a, a, a master's, I think he's on the right part of getting a PhD. But do you think that the PhD without any publication or project or maybe articles or something like that, can he really delve into it? Because maybe this person, the way he's talking about course, 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 when you're, put, when you're researching that, I don't know, but uh, if maybe you two can also delve into it, yeah. Yeah, no, so I, I think... think it, okay, okay, yeah, go on, go on. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I think with the publication, you know, like Fred was saying, um, most of the times it's just casa like communication yeah. you know it could be you don't have a publication and still you can be able to talk to someone and convince the person to in, in order to come in based on an expert maybe the person even has some one or two write-ups which has not been published yet right in those days when i was doing the school application my cv the project work i wrote it there and i wrote unpublished i see if, you know when you see it it's just branding at times you just have to brand yourself <laughs> Yet to publish can be tomorrow. <laughs> all, all, all that aside, now I feel say it's very good and necessary to at least have at least one publication because PhD is more um theoretical, more uh, more of the publication. So basically they are gonna look out for that. When I was in Ghana, I applied to straight PhD, Alabama State University. It was very competitive. I got opportunity. I had admission, but they didn't give me funding because I realized that it was because of the publication I didn't have. They, they are basically mm -hmm. going to take somebody who has publication over me mm -hmm. that I didn't have. So at times it's very necessary to check all those things before you apply into a PhD program. Well, somebody also add one to it. Someone... And I think, uh, I think what, with what he said, uh, it means that he's done with the coursework, so definitely he's now going to work on his research. So definitely he will, he will do something regarding the research aspect. If you look how at how do you I apply to provincial attestation from the province, Peter? Can you please? So now we don't know how to get the attestation in Canada right now. So one thing is I need to wait, my brother. <laughs> when, it, when it comes, we will update you guys. Currently on exchange in Finland, how does that play as well? Currently on, on an exchange in Finland, how does that play as well? I don't know if maybe... An exchange. Currently on an exchange in Finland, how does that play as well? Does the person want to do transfer or does the person want to come to US after that? The question is not that clear. Richard said, please, I have HND case to be uh, BSC, K University, published M field, University of Ghana. What are my chances of PhD? Please, you should answer, answer these questions and then. This is a very strong candidate because um, he's, he has an HND, he has a PhD, uh, sorry, he has a bachelor's and he has an MPhil. And all this attests to his academic prowess. It puts mm -hmm. him, it gives him a huge, um, a huge portfolio. So I think he should give it a try and sure he will get it. But one thing he has to do is do a lot of code emailing because for the sciences, you have to do a lot of code emailing and you have to contact individual professors. So identify, go to the website, ident identify faculty members that you think your research interests align with them. Have a constant communication with them. And if there's av availability at their um, lab, they would, you know, bring you in. Please, I have diploma in CGP of 4.22 and degree of CGP of 4.3. 
from UDS. I still do I still need West? No. You've answered this. Yeah, I don't know why. When we are answering some questions, they should pay attention because you keep repeating the same thing. Can one move with the family if you are doing masters in Canada and US? If yes, would the dependent be able to work? I don't know if US when you are coming, can you come with your wife? I don't know. Yeah, you can come with your wife, but your wife can't work. Yeah. Okay, you can come with your wife. But your yeah. wife can't work. Unlike Canada, yeah. that you come, you bring your wife. You can you work. Bet. You can oh, work. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, Mr. Fred, some people say they need your number. You can't get Fred number here, please. And what you need to do is that you can't get them. We now we they here. You can't. I don't know why Fred is not using his email. Oh no, you do email cra. Why? One thing is that you need to go to his bio. I don't know. When you go to, you type the Fred effect. You will see the seller something something you click on it and you have a section with him you can't get uh our, our money um his number that one it is not advisable somebody tested me that i need fred number and mm -hmm. Aaron. and i said how can i give your own number to you like that <laughs> maybe you can ask for maybe the the the, the this thing um okay let me give you two minutes so that you just conclude so uh, mr my, my brother danny start and uh, let's go yeah so so, uh, so like I would say, uh, like, like, like the journey is, uh, it's a long journey, but like one thing I would tell you is, so if you have an aspiration of uh, studying in the U.S., please start now. Please don't wait to like the, the deadline and get to know your, like uh, your application materials. Just go to like the school portal and read everything about it, as Emmanuel said, read everything and like, like don't leave everything. After getting all materials and then like the deadline, the maybe like you go uh, awaiting just all materials, it's very very difficult. And the one thing is about recommendation letter. Getting recommendation letter in Ghana is very, very difficult. So please start now. Start speaking to professors now, so that like like they get to know you, so that you create links, so that like you don't wait till like the last thing is. And I'm sure through determination and perseverance, you are going to get here. Thank you. Well, so what is Fred handle so that we can follow me? The, the name is. Fred Fett, the Fred Fett yeah. on YouTube, TikTok, or by BR. Or say, please, if you email a professor using email tracker, okay. he read it like 12 times, but no reply yet. Can I still send another email to still express my interest? No, I would please. say no, send no, no. a reminder rather, but don't repeat that same email. So a short reminder. No, no, like if like you send 12 times, meaning yeah, like yeah, like yeah, I'll I'll seen it. I will say you just get like another professor and just, mm. yeah, yeah, just, just get another professor. I don't understand why some, some professor would decide not to reply you. Yeah. Just, just there are thousands of schools in so so right. if you tell me that you cannot get school in Canada or America to apply, that means I think <laughs> you still have you, you you don't want to every day Fred is posting uh, Evan Gas now I don't really post schools and those kind of stuff. We have been posting. I think some guy also called Yakubu or what what uh, uh Victor Victor one why on LinkedIn is posting Chris one one the Fred uh, this way all these people are posting schools but people will not get it. So my brother I think it will not or say please Aaron if your transcripts are from different institutions, there's a diploma and two years top up in the same course. How do you match the two for the worst evaluation? I mean, you need to contact, I mean, Bosu, as I said, uh, if if your school has an affiliation with them, then it makes it easier because uh, they will just send the electronic one to them, to the BUS. There's no need for you to uh, mail it physically. But then if maybe one school has an affiliation and the other one doesn't have, then you have to mail the other one to, to them. Yeah, okay. you have to mail the other one to them. Uh, last question, then I'll give each, uh, this one, then Ivan Gas, then I'll... Or say, please, is Masters in IT compulsory a thesis-based work, or can it be a course-based work to choose what you want? I don't know if you guys understand the question. Is Masters in IT compulsory thesis-based work, or can it be also a course-based yes. work to choose what you want yeah i think um the person can simply verify with the school every school will have different sets of um how they go about their thesis and their coursework and one thing i know in the us if you want to do coursework like i i don't know if the coursework the person is trying to say is like more practical more practical works here like it's more paid like you'll not get 
really full funding in such fields, more the professional works. But then the thesis, definitely you're going to get funding in those fields. So you should just check with the school and know which one to um, apply to. Evans, let me give you one minute. Uh, then you, you, uh, some, some people are watching you. I know over 100 people are watching us right now. I know it's 12 o'clock. People are sleeping and those kind of stuff. One minute, you talk to other people who also want to embark on this journey. Yeah, this will be very aggressive. And um, thank you guys for this great platform. If you are watching this, um, please don't stop watching. Don't stop following. Don't stop liking. These are the things we followed in Ghana and we are here. The Fred effect is here. Onina um, mentioned the um, 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 Choco and, and, and my, my beloved brother, um, um, Peter. We watched them. Those days, I remember I had pictures of my friends on my TV standing in snow. Every morning, I'll be watching it before I go to work just to motivate me. So please, if you are here, you want to also keep on watching and subscribing to this channel so that you get yourself abreast with the information that we keep giving some of them they are free and the moment you keep using that same lane or that same process you'll be here in the next one year in the next few months that's all i can say mr emmanuel let me give you one minute some people are watching you they will come and watch later what do you want to say your brothers and sisters back home mm. i think your network i can't hear you Okay, Aaron, can you go on? Please okay, uh, can you hear uh, me now? Yeah, I can hear you go. Yeah, you might yeah, go. Okay. So what I want to say is that this basically is um, application to schools is quite a lonely journey and it's quite long. But what I want to tell everyone is that keep on keeping on, let be consistent, um, don't give up. And once you have the spirit of consistency, surely you'll be here. Sure. Thank you very much, Mr. Aaron. One minute. Uh, one, one thing I want to say is every dream is valid and it's achievable. Regardless, no, don't ever think that your dream is not achievable. That was one thing I taught when I completed school uh, with, a, with a GP of 2.58. And I thought I couldn't, I couldn't make it here. But when I started following people and I started seeking for information, I got the right information. And then I turned those information to my advantage. And today I'm here. So your dream is also valid and you can make it here. Yeah. Thank you very much. One of the Udimso Awale, one of the respectable man I have come to. I thought you were younger, but I said when you know. Bale Bamboy, senior, the friend, for this year. Well, first of all, I'm going to show and um in your name almost a baby share of my ideas name for me. But Fred, Fred, answer now because one can say SNK will you communicate. I don't know, minimum would you my way. You you need to speak like is it uh, communication and news? You know, you know how to communicate. You know how that's, to communicate. Thank that's you. Yeah. Kaka, kaka. So, um, <laughs> point so Peter and and that form say uh, we best spend our time so we're educating and um, then our brothers too who um join too. I uh, say so we have to do this often. Peter, yeah. you, you you have to let us do this often. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, oh, share and and also with you, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, Kasenina, Peter, Mr. Daniel, Mr. Evans, Aaron, um, Imano, in your near baby, I was a sea and I was shame. And I can't crank a cry, the BP. Many nominee Aaron over the same hall. You were a number for Nibu. Oh, yeah, many Aaron, we, we go way back. Uh, <coughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it is not just you started the school application, you get to know you. Oh, no, 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 I mean, a, the room. The room was just just yeah. one one distance. Just, uh, just hall, 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 hey, ATL. I mean, there's no hall. There's no <laughs> hall on campus again, apart from. Interestingly, Danny, um, and Evans, and myself, young Sunia, are the same room. Oh, so, oh, so you are, yeah. I was all here at UCC. Yeah, 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 yeah UCC. <laughs> <laughs> And why I should say, Freddie, passport and your problem. Union Asani, Sassi, and Ketchy, um, um, I resume any any that so or home will be a and I know you know, Cassis only passport a bombarding so baby. 
sani shasi professor be our ne kasach and friends or per recommendation letter o pass um o transcripts na won patch ya kwan fee so graduate ye no shasi so wo patch ya kwan ne bobo anyema no ye wo ye nam fofo ne bi o hwa ye ne omu wi school no mu nima de che wo class pa so and yes, say, be a yay, Wahan, yinima, eh, yin, my dear chum. In yes, ye free a busier, me, a mini pita cradi boo. I come away, son, come on, Barbara, Trina, and can ye? In tea, can who says, say ye to me, a make ye dear, and ye, what a roma, also bet me, a possible so bet, and ye, a woman say, ye, can't quire ye far so ye, ye. I now you wore the same um, shoes as you are in no, to be able to get here. A patch is uh, practically possible. In tea, um, so when you follow, uh, you know, no more, but more than so be follow. Um, yeah, try say, you see, you name the anasi name BBR. We are not the autonomy of wisdom. Yeah, share your journey. No, so be a bit motivated or be inspired. Now, so also, oh, oh, what to be a Kenya who say, I'm pound so bit my uh, maybe now you're far better than us. If you can walk around, if you be oh. And uh, far better. You see, say, I'm so happy who's no nibby, I'm so bit my be who's no nibby. But who are they can now? A trebby, I'll be apply a bit now be a part of OBBN. Wa, who is a sea Peter or Daniel, OBN. Wa, when you deny a letter, being a denial at the end. Yeah, if you all call, be saying, Ted Yama, Yarage, a more bumbo. There's always hope there. Into both whom are they can now? When I am so yaka cra, ye information can keep bits me their mouth. A pursue, nanya nko po yad, mwon so ababe kanye, ye hwen ya, e wo hase na, man fwo mwo abro tiye no, si ko mwo sandi kofi ye no, e chen, a ba yon bo si yon kobo, e da ye kese ye kese ya wuti si, e na, an anate, o e se obi ati ya se yon se, there is no prominent person, an aso obi yon wa waye ye wa gana on tu kwa yon da, omu nina, omu nina kofi ya di abro tiye, obi ya, there is no single person, an wun nimna, it has a year, you know, two quite an answer were two quite up. There was every single in tea. I can't turn school in the year so easy in teenage church, Musa. Your crime be brave for the person to cry. It's about the old tear. Nanko part of my own crying. Kakanka, Namia do my name a better too. Can I say? Thank you very much. Um, Fred is uh, one of the great guys. I've been in class of when the moon I'm for uses, but it's, it's nice. You see how life is that Aaron was his classmate, he helped Aaron to be here today. That is how the power of relationship and the power of um, building strategic relationship with people. You don't know somebody's future. So whatever you meet people, treat people nice yes. so that when... Because even in school application, I know certain friends that I have used my own credit card to pay the application for them. Yeah. Some of my friends, I, I just use it. So sometimes when you're in school, try to build relationship with people and then learn how to follow it. The link between the Fred and Aaron today have taught me that Whoever you don't know, whatever you meet, you are helper. So whoever is, respect people. Now he was in the same class, but he was getting wisdom and knowledge from the friend. That means you can be in the same class with someone, but the level of intelligence of the person can go on, or the person will reach a certain level that you want to go. They don't say, "Ah, menenu kwa nijina no ya wano wa mabinti ano." In school application, you don't say you're intelligent. So thank you very much for watching me, the Fred. God bless you for coming. You'll be at the Baba platform. So Fred, we have a Saturday and a Friday. Maybe I'll pay you. So live and college. Anytime you have a person, baby. Saturday, just to report. Ding, 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 ding. Report today. Eighty. You're the one who And Fred, what you said is that we want to also do the school application. When I get one hour of my time, you will still come and do the distance. If you have any time, Aaron and these people, I have their link. I will send you the link. If you have time, you join. You need time, then you join. When you come, you see you join us so that we can able to educate. And then the wisdom that we have gotten, uh, people have gotten from this page, it has helped somebody else. Right. All the solutions Fred gave and micro mini nurse and yes, I didn't know all this stuff, but you know, I've also learned. So, Charlie, God bless you for coming, and I really appreciate each and every one. Uh, Fred, me, we are met us still on a public message. So, Fred,